is there a link between a mother's age and autism. There's a new study out of California that reports that women who give birth after age 40 are nearly twice as likely to have a child with autism as those women under 25. So what does this mean for parents-to-be? Sharon Alfonsi takes a look. Sherry Carey knew when she decided to have a child at 40 years old, it came with risks. One of the concerns was Down syndrome. Um, another concern was pregnancy loss. But Carrie never thought her age might put her child at greater risk for autism, a disease her son Ben was diagnosed with just before his second birthday. Researchers now say women who gave birth after age 40 are nearly twice as likely to have a child with autism as a woman under 25. The risk increased by nearly 18 percent for every five-year increase in a mother's age. The study looked at millions of parents across California. The number of women over 40 giving birth increased by 300 percent in the 1990s, and the diagnoses of autism increased 600 percent. At first glance, it may appear the rise in older pregnancies could be responsible for the rise in autism. But the authors of the study say that older mothers account for only 5 percent of the increased cases in autism and that the rise in autism cases is seen in every age group of parents. We know that it's a risk factor, but we can't attribute the rise in autism to the, to the shifting trend towards having children later in life. Researchers underscore that age does not cause autism, but some parents hope the study could be an important step towards finding out what does. Sharon Alfonsi, ABC News, New York. With more, Dr. Richard Besser joins us, and it's a, it's a little bit confusing. What is the headline in this study? It, it is confusing. You know, this is a good study. It looks at millions of births in California, and it found that older women had a higher rate of autism. But you really have to dig into that to, mm -hmm. to understand that. There's a number of reasons that autism is diagnosed more with older parents. Uh, they have more access to health care services. They're more right. likely to have health insurance. They have higher education and are, are more likely to push in the school and say, there's something a little odd here about my child. I think my child needs services. If they get that diagnosis of autism, they're more likely to have it. So those are two factors that in and of themselves will say, if the rates are the same, you're more likely to diagnose it if the parents are older. So it might be a, a bit of a, because of diagnosis. Part, more than part, part of, of it, it is that. But, but there also, as you dive in, there mm -hmm. is a small amount of autism that is likely related to age. And it doesn't say why. There are a number of reasons it could be. As eggs get older, there are chromosomal changes. Mm -hmm. And so if there's a genetic component to autism, and most researchers think there is, you would see it with older parents. Also, older people have been exposed to more things in the environment. So over the course of your lifetime, sure. if there's an environmental cause, you would expect with older parents to see a higher rate of autism. So there could be factors. I'm not quite sure, but those, those could be some of the factors. Okay, so let's say you're, you're at home and you're in your 30s, uh, 40s, and you're pregnant or you're thinking about starting a family. What do you do with this kind of information? Well, I would, I would say you would not pay much attention to this information. And, and the reason is, if you look at the increase in autism, there was 600% increase in California over over that decade, only 5% of that increase was due to age. The other increase was due to factors we just don't know yet. Mm -hmm. And so I would say relax. You know, if, if for many reasons you've decided to put off childbearing until you're older, right. you know, this should not dissuade you from doing that. What about men? Uh, have they studied men and seeing if their age is a factor? They did, and they saw a slight increase if a woman was under 30 and a man was over 40. There was an increase. Hard to explain right. why only in that age group and, and, and not older. All right, Rich, as always, thanks for helping us try to clarify this. We appreciate that.